Kabila and yes. then Professor the Judge. And yes. Justice Jack Tonojuang walked into the interview room, beaming with confidence as he put on a smile before he faced a panel that would change the path of his judicial career. The judiciary has made landmark rulings touching on sensitive matters of religion, sexual orientation, atheistic beliefs, and even legalized outlawed sects, something that many in the legal profession feel that society has changed the way judicial judgments are made. As the head of the judiciary, Ojuang proposes for consultation among judges. All these issues, yes, yes. what kind of chief justice are you going to be? Um, in these matters, I would take a pragmatic position. I would not take a doctrinaire position. The reason is that if you look at some of the fundamental principles of this constitution, one is human dignity. The disputed 2013 election petition would come to play as Justice Ojuang proposed formation of an advisory committee to help the Supreme Court deal with petitions at the presidential level. Questions about his wife's political ambitions and appointment into government came to the fore. The justice denying the issue could have played a part in his decision to uphold the election of Uhuru Kenyatta as president in 2013. Did you declare the income of your wife? The income of my wife, I, I don't remember. I was asked to do that. <laughs> yeah. Because she... she when you declare, when you declare... Yes. You are saying, you just answered that uh, uh, the reason why you didn't specifically mention your wife was yeah. because your property is jointly owned. Yes, correct. Okay. But her income she declares uh, as a tax requirement every year, the way that I also do it. She always does that. She no, does. no, no, no. So yes. in your forms you didn't? The income of my wife I did not declare. Oh, okay. I can remember that. Okay, fine. Yeah. After 27 years as an academician and 13 as a judicial officer, today's JSC interview proved to be the toughest test yet for Justice Ojuang, whose temper was almost brought to a boiling point early this morning during an interview with Justice Muhammad Warsame. You have not challenged that decision. This question I've answered it earlier. That there are too many cases just, being just filed in answer court. it yes or no. You have not challenged yes or no. This matter is in court. It was filed. It, it is a matter lodged in court by one of our colleagues. But and you have not it challenged it yourself. Uh, please, give me a break. The question of a protest letter to the JC threatening to withdraw services if the quorum issue was not going to be dealt with fully brought tempers into the room. His decision as a single judge to listen to an appeal in the Kidero versus YT2 case also raising tempers in the room. Question. Let me finish. For a man who seeks to be the leader of the judiciary, it was baffling to the commission that he did not show any interest in administrative matters like budgets and infrastructure, but was quick to give his opinion on the status of the Supreme Court building, which he did not like to share with the GAC during its interviews for what he explained was lack of space and proper toilet facilities. If chosen as CJ, Justice Ojuang says that better communication, teamwork, building collegiality and bringing together judicial staff to iron out issues will form a major part of his transformation agenda. Leila Mohamed, NTV.